Hello, TK friends. Okay, last week we worked on making the letter S. And this week we're going to work on the letter I and the number six. So go ahead, you'll need your Play-Doh, your marker, a whiteboard, something to erase with, and a, um, and a placemat. We're going to start right away by making our four snakes. So go ahead and divide your Play-Doh into two balls. And then with that, pinch it, pinch it, pinch it into two. So now we have two small ones and a big one. Go to the big one and pinch that so that now we have four small ones, okay? So I'm gonna start making, oopsie, <laughs> my snakes and you can start too. And I'm going to pause the video. And when you're done making four snakes, then you can go ahead and unpause the video so that we can um, start again. All right? Did you meet Iggy Iguana? Yes. Okay, and he is the letter I. Mm-hmm. And what sound does he make? Eh, eh, eh. It's like you're so happy. Eh, eh, eh right the letter is i the sound is eh, 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 eh. now i'm going to write the capital i for you actually there's many different ways huh there's a couple of ways to write the capital i sometimes you'll see the capital i look just like this like a lowercase l or the number one yes yeah, so that's easy you can easily do that huh but sometimes the capital I looks, it's kind of slanted, sorry. Let me do that again. There. Starts the same way, but then it has a horizontal line at the top and a horizontal line at the bottom. Okay, these are short horizontal line and one long vertical line. Do you think you can make an, a capital I with your snakes? I bet you can. Okay, let's try it. Let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna use, that's super long. You know what? I'm going to cut my snake up there. And I will take this to make the horizontal line at the top. And we want the horizontal lines to be the same length. So I'm gonna measure it right there, pinch it off. There we go, wow. That was super easy, huh? Can you make a cap another one for me? Yep, here we go. A long straight line down, a short horizontal line across, and another short horizontal line across on the bottom. There we go. We have beautiful capital I's. The letter is I, the sound is Eh, 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 and superhero I. That's right. Okay. Let's trace our eyes real quick. Are you ready? Take your finger, start at the top, go down, pick it up, go from left to right, the top, left to right on the bottom. Okay, let's do it again. Start at the top, follow the vertical line down, pick up your finger, go to the top from the left to the right, go to the bottom, from the left to the right. Okay, now close your eyes and see if you can follow it down. Now you go ahead, pick up your finger, touch the top, close your eyes, follow it across, open, find the bottom, close your eyes, follow it across. Wasn't that easy? An eye is so easy to make, huh? Are you ready to write some eyes? Some uppercase eyes? Okay, here we go. Okay. Straight line down, horizontal line across, a short one and a short horizontal line across on the bottom. Okay, go ahead, make a few more for me. I'm going to make, how about five? Want to do five? There we go, that's two. That's three, 
gonna make a small itty bitty one here for and an itty bitty one over here. Five. I have five eyes. No, I don't. I only have two. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, so that's the uppercase I. What does the lowercase I look like? It's even simpler, right? Simpler, is that a word? It's even more simple. All right, because the lower I has just one short straight line down and a dot floating in the air. Remember, we do not want you to make your eye like this because guess what that looks like? A lollipop. No lollipops. Okay, there needs to be a space between the dot and the line. So make sure that when you're making your lowercase i, the dot is floating by itself. There's a space or a gap between the dot and the line. All right, so let's come over here. And I'm going to take apart my uppercase i here or eyes. Okay, and I'm going to use those pieces to make a lowercase i. I'm going to use the, the small line to make the vertical line down and, ooh, there we go. I'm gonna squish this into a nice ball and make it, make the dot floating in the air, just like that. Or I can do it this way so you can see it. See, there's my eye. Okay, can you make your eyes? Make your lowercase i? How many can you make? Can you make more than me? Let's see. I've got two. Now I'm gonna go make some more. This is a smaller one. I've got three. got four. Oh, how about, a, how about that one? A big one. Big lowercase i. There. One, two, three, four, five. I have five lowercase i's. How about you? Okay. Well, once you're ready, okay, go ahead and trace it. So start right here at the top and go down then dot, right? Then top, then dot. Miss Boo's paper is upside down so that it's right side up for you. There we go. And now I'm going to go to my whiteboard and I'm going to practice writing a bunch of lowercase i's. Are you ready to join me? Okay, here we go. Straight line, dot floating in the air, Straight line, dot floating in the air. 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 There we go. That's pretty easy, huh? Very nice. Let's chant Iggy Iguana one more time. Are you ready? The letter is I, the sound is I, 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 and Superhero I. All right. Now let's put our Play-Doh together. Okay. And I wanted to do one more today. One more. It's not a letter. It's a number. Okay. So we've been talking about the number six. The number six comes after the number five. Right, so if you look at your mat here, we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you, if you look at the number six, do you see any curves? Lots of curves, huh? Do you see any straight lines? No, no horizontal lines, no vertical lines, no diagonal lines, just curves. So to make the number six, we start over here kind of like the S that we made and we push up and make that 
big rainbow, but now we're gonna make a long, kind of like if we're making a um, an oval, right? And then we're gonna make a big curve, and when we get to almost to the um, to the beginning again, instead of going straight up, we're going to curve in and touch the other side, and that's how we make a number six, just like that. Okay, so. Do you think you can make a number six with, with your snakes? Yeah, I think you can. So we're gonna start just the same as we did with the S, but instead of curving it in to make that almost circle, we wanna keep it longer so that it looks like an oval. I'm going to add another one of my snake. See, so look it, you can even start like an oval, but then take that part and turn it in and move it up. There, just like that. Okay. If that's how we make a six, the curve is at the bottom, not at the top. Okay. The curve to make the little circle inside, it's at the bottom. You wanna try it once more? Let's do one more number six. Here we go. I'm gonna start by making my rainbow and I'm gonna have to add some more to make my curve on the bottom. And I think I need to make this into a longer snake, so. I'm gonna add that. Curve, 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 curve. Aha, and I've made my number six. Go ahead and work on yours. See if you can make two number six with your Play-Doh snake. You good? Okay. If you're not done yet, you can always pause the video, right? Mm -hmm. and then work on your six and once you have it perfect you can push play again and now we are going to practice writing the number six of course six times okay so ready from the right push up to make that rainbow push down and curve in there we go we've got a number six do it again I want you to try it six times. Curve up, push down, curve all the way in. Make sure that the circle part is at the bottom. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Six. I finished writing the number six six times and that is all for today so now let's take our play-doh and squish it back into a ball okay squish it squish it back into a ball turn it into a ball a big one roll it around roll it around until it's sort of like a ball like a sphere uh-huh and now put it down. We're gonna go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. A few more times. Pound one side, pound the other side. And now we have a cylinder. Can you say that cylinder? Let's put it back in its container and push the lid back down nice and tight and clean our board. And we are done for today. Good job, friends.